Hello everyone and welcome to Medi Simplify. So today we are going to talk about CT severity score. So actually I have chosen this topic because right now we are experiencing the second wave of COVID-19 infection. The whole world is experiencing it. And uh, uh, one patient out of 10 patients of COVID-19 are showing such typical pattern that after even after having all the symptoms, they are showing RT-PCR negative. This is actually happening because when we are taking the swab from the nasopharynx, the patient is not having the virus lodged at the nasopharynx as it was being earlier, but it has already spread to the lungs and it has it is not present at the uh, nasopharynx. So in such patient, CT plays a very important role. CT of chest or we can call it CT lungs plays a very important role for which there are two important things which we must know as a physician. One is CORATS and another is CT severity score which we are going to talk about right now. To know about CORATS, uh, you can see here a link coming up. So go and watch that video on CORATS. Uh, I recommend you to watch it now or just after the video ends but do watch it. And now let's talk about CT severity score in detail. So CT severity score for COVID-19, what is it? Uh, it is actually uh, telling us about the pulmonary or in common language lungs involvement of COVID-19 infection. And uh, it is done using thin section CT imaging. And it also tells us about the severity of the disease. A basic anatomy of lungs, which we should know, know about the CT severity score. Uh, I know for medicals it is very easy and they know about the lows, but this is for the common people who also watch our video. So for them, uh, we have two lungs, right and left, right? And uh, the, right, the, right, the right lung is having three lobes, upper lobe, middle lobe and lower lobe, whereas the left lung is having two lobes, that is upper and lower. Uh, this is the image of the lungs. Uh, and the lobes, you can see superior lobe, middle lobe and inferior lobe in the right lung, whereas uh, the left lung is having superior lobe and inferior lobe. And we can see a notch here due to which there are one lobe less in the left lung. And this is known as cardiac notch where the heart is situated in the patient. So this is the basic which you should know to talk about the severity score, right? So we have three right lobes and two left lobes in total five lobes in the human lung, right? So now talking about the CT severity score, the lung lobe is visualized. Right? After doing the CT, if the corax is coming 3, 4, 5, 6, we visualize the lung lobe, each lobe, and score them from 0 to 5 for one, one lobe, right? So we and on the scale of 0 to 5. So if there is no involvement in the lobe, we score it as a 0. If the lobe is involved 5%, less than 5%, we, didn't, we give it score 1. If it is 5 to 25% of the lobe involvement, we give it score 2. If it is 26 to 49, we give it score 3. If it is 50 to 75, it is score 4. And if it is more than 75, then it is <clears throat> score 5. So in this way, each lobe can have maximum 5 scores, right? And total we have 5, so 5. That in each lobe, if we do this, we can get a maximum score of 25. So this is what CT severity score is done. This is the calculation part of the CT severity score. And for each lobe, we do 0 to 5. And similarly, all the five lobes are visualized and the sum is calculated as CT severity score. So if the total of all the five lobes comes from 0 to 8, so it is a mild score. If it is 9 to 15, it is a moderate score or intermediate score. And if it is more than 15, it is a severe score. So this is the actual CT severity scoring uh, uh, importance. So what is mild, moderate, and severe? You might be having uh, seen commonly with the patients right now of COVID-19 that they say that they have done their CT scan. It is 16 by 25. It is 9 by 25, 3 by 25. So this is the CT severity scoring. So now let's calculate a CT severity score. So as that we can perfect ourselves in case of a, in case if in the upcoming exams, we get a question on it, right? So this is the uh, question right now. The right upper lobe is 22% involved. So it is right uh, from 5 to 25%. So it is 2. Uh, the right middle lobe, right? Then this way, each lobe's percentage is calculated. And then the total is calculated, right? So right middle lobe is 3%. That is less than 5% of the lobe is involved. So it is 1. Then the right lower lobe, 81% uh, of involvement. That is more than 75%. So it is score 5. Left upper lobe is 33% involved, so the score is 3, that is between 25 to 49. And the left lower lobe is 64% involved, that is from uh, 50 to 75, that is score 5. So if we total or sum up this score, then it comes as 15 by 25. So it is a moderate case of 
COVID-19 infection or the pulmonary involvement. Once again, uh, this time we I have not mentioned the score, right? So this is the findings. Right upper lobe is 41% involved. So if the calculation goes, so it is uh, score three for right upper lobe. Right middle lobe is 27% involved. Again, it is between 25 to 50% uh, of involvement. So the score is three. The right lower lobe is 60% involved. That is more than 50%, but less than 75%. Uh, that is score four. And the left lower upper lobe is 10% involved. That is more than 5%, but less than 25%. So score two. And similarly, the left lower lobe is 77% involved. That is more than 75%. So the score is five. So in this way, we have calculated the score of each lobes. Now we will total it or sum up it. And if we do the total, that 3 plus 3 plus 4 is 10, plus 2 is 12, plus 5 is 17. So the CT severity score of this patient comes out to be 17 by 25. That is a severe case of COVID-19. So I hope this video was useful for each and everyone watching this. So thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to uh, watch the video of CORADS, right? which will be coming right here somewhere. And uh, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel, Medisimplified. And do follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and join the group of uh, Telegram, which the link is mentioned in the description. Thank you.